Tesla Cybertruck owner straps a gas-powered generator to the truck bed and creates the first hybrid Tesla. Takes 15 gallons of fuel to charge to full and gets 18.7 miles per gallon. The Cybertruck owner was able to create the first hybrid Tesla by mounting a gas-powered generator to the back of the truck. The Cybertruck was able to charge from 12% to 100% using 15 gallons of fuel and had an overall efficiency of 80 miles per gallon. But why don't you just buy a Ford then? Might even be cheaper. I'll tell you his reasoning in a moment. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up if you like what I'm about to tell you. So this Cybertruck owner from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Johan Fobel, has created the first hybrid Cybertruck. Johan achieved this feat by mounting a small portable gas power generator in the truck bed. You probably saw his truck bed and the gas power generator in the thumbnail of this video before you clicked on it. So he showed his generator in action on a recent towing trip he took to the wilderness away from civilization and uh, uh, away from any power outlet. Johan was able to charge his Cybertruck from 12% to 100%, giving him enough juice to drive back from his uh, campsite. Johan shared his gas-powered Cybertruck experience with the Tesla Cybertruck group on Facebook and he also had a little video uh, which I will have linked in, this, in the description of this video. So, but this is what he wrote which, which sounded very interesting for me. He says, here's my generator charging my Cybertruck off-grid. For all the haters, yes, it runs on gas. Yes, it gets the job done. So that's an important part. With 15 gallons of gas, I was able to charge to 100% and have the truck ready to tow again after the weekend was over. So the man had a good time with his weekend trip without any problems with charging. Together with his post, Johan shared a video of his Cybertruck charging using a gas power generator, which I will link from the description of this video and you can see that. Uh, but I'm going to tell you some other important things here. Though in that video, you can see a small Predator 9500 generator running pretty loud in the middle of the night loaded onto the Cybertruck bed. But the man is in wilderness, so it doesn't really matter how loud it was. From there, Johan ran some lines and connected the generator to a Tesla mobile charger using an adapter. The charger is plugged into the Cybertruck and blinks green, which shows that the vehicle is charging without any issue. Friends, in the video, Johan also says the following. He says, for all the non-believers, people who don't understand the science, there she is charging out in the middle of the woods in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's going to take a long time, but it'll be charged by tomorrow morning. I mean, the man is in the wilderness, in a campsite, having a great time, and he doesn't care about how loud it is, uh, when it will charge, but it will be uh, done by the morning when he is about to return. Johan also shared a view of his campsite showing that he is in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by trees and snow-covered ground practical yeah i guess what do you think let me know friends your thoughts in the comment section following the cybertruck owner turns his camera to the truck's center touch screen and shares some charging stats the cybertruck is charging at six kilowatt which is slightly lower at 25 amps and 240 volts than the tesla mobile connectors maximum rated charge capacity of 32 amps which would have increased the power to 7.5 kilowatts. At this rate, the Cybertruck is charging at 11 miles per hour and will take 14 hours and 5 minutes to charge fully. But like I said, you are in the wilderness, you have that time. According to Johan, he started at 12% and charged all the way to 100%. And in the process, he used up 15 gallons of fuel with his Cybertruck's 320 miles EPA range. It means Johan has managed to get 18.7 miles per gallon of efficiency by charging his Cybertruck using a gas generator. Friends, this doesn't make the Cybertruck the most efficient truck. However, fellow Cybertruck owners in that group discussion were still happy writing that 
even at these levels, the Cybertruck is more fuel efficient than the new Ford F-250. Yes, it is more fuel efficient, but it is less fuel efficient than many other trucks. Should other Cybertruck owners consider installing a generator? What do you think? At 18.7 miles per gallon, the whole setup isn't too bad if you ever find yourself in an emergency situation like this. This is why in the beginning of this video I said, is this practical? Because in an emergency situation like that, it may be. This setup can be especially useful if towing. When pulling the trailer, the Cybertruck's range can easily be cut to less than 100 miles, according to some sources. Also, at 257 pounds and uh, compact size, leaving the generator permanently on the truck bed would have been too noticeable. Add a couple of gas cans and you can be sure you will never be stranded out in the wilderness. Having said that, the obvious limitation of this do-it-yourself system is that the Cybertruck will not be able to charge while driving like other hybrid vehicles. So this is the disadvantage. This means Every time you want to charge your Cybertruck, you will need to come to a complete stop and at 11 miles an hour, you'll need to be stopped for a long time to get any meaningful range. The way I see it, this is only good if you have a long trip to the wilderness, you have time there, you can wait there while you're doing your things, you can have your Tesla Cybertruck charged from your generator and drive back. Additionally, there is also the issue of the sound. You can run the generator overnight while you are sleeping. However, getting any sleep with all that noise will be challenging. So is this worth it? What do you think? In which scenarios do you think this could work? Now. Their Tesla is developing a range extender battery pack that will be launched in mid-2025. So this is where it gets even more interesting. This 50 kilowatt hour battery pack will give the Cybertruck another 120 miles of travel, increasing its EPA estimated range to over, look at this, 445 miles. The range extender battery pack will be permanently mounted on the Cybertruck bed and will take up one third of the bed space. So you're getting that mileage, but you're losing one third of bed space. When it becomes available, the extra battery will also cost $16,000. On the other hand, a gas generator like the Predator 9500 that Johan used costs $2,000, takes less bed space, doesn't need to be permanently mounted to the truck, and can add hundreds of miles of range depending on how much fuel you are willing to carry. So you see there is a lot of give and take. Having said that, it's still important to note that the comparison is somewhat uh, apples to oranges because the range extender battery pack also has other advantages over using a generator. For example, the battery pack is silent, doesn't depend on fossil fuels, can be used while the truck is driving, has OEM support and so on. So what do you think? Which one is better? The Predator generator like that or a battery pack? Ultimately, comparing these two systems brings us to the age old debate. Would you rather have a long range pure electric vehicle with a heavy expensive battery or a lighter, cheaper, less clean hybrid vehicle. Different people will have different preferences. However, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this story, give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And also subscribe to our channel if you are here first time. You can read more about these things that we cover daily at torquenews.com, our website. God bless you everyone. And I'll see you soon in our next report.